but we all with unveiled face beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the Lord the Spirit. Wow. Imagine this. Every morning I get up, I look in the mirror. I don't like what I see. I shave, I wash my face, I comb my hair, I brush my teeth in some desperate attempt to improve what I see because I don't feel it's fair to go out and inflict myself on people looking the way I do. And a wonderful thing happens. As I comb my hair, I have hair that decides kind of what it's going to look like about two in the morning, and all day long I'm, you know, it's a good hair day or a bad hair day, and there's not much I can do about it. Well, you know, as I comb my hair, there's a corresponding change in the mirror. If there wasn't, it would be a very disheartening thing, wouldn't it? But listen to what this verse says. We all, with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, we're changed. See, when I do something outside here, there's a reflection of that in the mirror. The mirror changes to be like me, but this verse says that I change to be like what's in the mirror. Now, there are two sides to a mirror. There's what we call the real world, and there's the reflection of the real world. But what the apostle is telling us here is which side of the mirror we're on. This is not the real world. This is the two-dimensional world. This is the world with something missing, you see. The real world is on the other side of the mirror. God's truth, God's Son, God's kingdom, that's the real world. And when we open the Bible and look into it, we're looking into the real world. We're on the two-dimensional side, and we're looking into the real world. And as we do that, we become like the real world. Someone has said, the only way to prepare to meet your God is to live with your God every day in such a way that meeting him will be no surprise. It's that occupation with the other world. And something happens to me. I become what I see in the mirror. I become like the Lord Jesus. What a breathtaking promise that is.